Hey, welcome back. It's Andrew here. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. And look at this butte. Just picked her up from the auction house, I believe it was. Let's take a look, see here. Yeah, I got it at the auction. It was valued at 45000 the estimate value. And I picked it up for forty-three. I haven't done nothing to it besides put oil in it and make it run and I've already increased the profit on it by $4,700 minus the $20 it took me to put the oil in I think that's a pretty good steal so far and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna wash the car and I've already I've already taken the initiative and I painted the motor for it so next is we're gonna paint suspension components to it and uh, yeah I'm going with a different color normally I go either red and gold and, or blue and silver this time I'm going blue and gold so that's where we're at right now with this we're gonna put this over here and swap it with the Porsche holy got a nasty cough doesn't look too too bad. Let's rip all these body panels off. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Not really a whole heck of a lot on here. Huh. We don't need that battery in there. We'll actually throw it on charge and we'll nah, no guarantee we're gonna reuse it, but but no this motor does run. Um actually sounds pretty good. You know, it has what 49,000 original miles. So, we are going to make it spectacular. Alright, back to the paint shop we go so we can go paint the suspension. You can kind of guess what color blue I'm going. Dang, it feels like a dog hair in my throat. Alright, let's take a look. See, let's see what we got. Yeah, it kind of looks more like a mustard yellow, but you can see the gold there. Looks alright. So we're going to paint these. Blue. We're going to go down the line here. Yeah, I've been a little busy. Right, we're going to paint these gold. I have no idea how well this is going to turn out. I have no idea what it's even going to look like. But we're going to see. Once again, my shocks and front struts will be black. Uh, I've just been wanting to do one of these cars for the longest time. Well, since I got it, I got the download content, so. And I've been looking for one in the junkyard, but, eh, you know, they're hide nor hair, and it's a little hard to see them, so. Eh. It's a different color gold, if nothing else. Alright, next thing, blue. Cross member D. Huh. Shiny. It's reflective. Alright, what was I? I was right here. And this has the rear cross member rear wheel drive, so it's made a lot of components to it. Huh got a caliper. Well, that's not good. Still not one oddball in there. Alright, let's see, we got both lower control arms done. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go over here. Do it go. And we gotta go running all the way through here. Look for some pots to paint blue. These ones. Like I said, I always paint these arms blue, or whatever color the cross member is going to be. 
Now the car does have a cage in it, which tells me it's a race car. So. Race cars are always different colors and stuff like that. So I figured, yeah, let's make it a little bit different than the ordinary. Hopefully it turns out. Hopefully it looks good. I can't wait to see it. The next color I choose is gold. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks nice. Not a real bright color, not a real dark color. Just right. Went and bought the cam caps, basing it off of uh, the I S54 and <laughs> That one takes 16 caps, so I went and bought 16 caps. It only takes 14. Isn't that funny, eh? Uh, these gotta go blue. Oh, we're on gold. That's right, I just painted the cross. <laughs> Keyword being, I think. I think I have it. I think I think I think I have it. I think I have it. Yeah, I do. What color did I paint that intake? Blue, which means oh, I did throw. The all right, I'll remember stuff tomorrow. Maybe. But I wanted to go with a color that was going to match the roll cage inside the car because I don't think I'm going to be able to paint that. I could be wrong. But due to me not doing any of these cars before, I really don't know. See, this is a first for, both, for everybody here. Well, for me especially. Because I've never done one of these cars before. Anything else mean to paint blue? Could be almost it. Yep. Last two pieces are going to be gold. and we paint the uh, shocks and struts. What are you? There you are. Just <laughs> paint them chrome. Nah, we'll go black. Make it look like they're minerals, or most most. No, well, that's inaccurate. Cause I've seen them white, I've seen them green, I've seen them a bunch of different colors actually. But I just prefer to do them black. Maybe I should do it chrome. See, if I was live streaming, I could get everybody's input and I can go from there. But, can't do that right now. So we're just going to leave it black. See, my goal is to get like at least 50 subscribers. That's my goal. And then from 50, who knows where we can go from there. Alright. I think we're done painting everything. Uh-huh. 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 
Right. I should have did the. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's take a look. Quick peek. See here. Now, how does the wheels look? Actually, there's not really a whole lot of room for. A whole lot of room for activities. And they're actually pretty flush, so I might actually just keep them what they are. Except for I'll bounce the front, so change them. I'll go 30 20s instead of the 35 19s. So. Okay, 20s. But see what I mean? It's got that cage in here, that color, so matches the wheels. But what we're going to do now is we're going to look for 20 inch. What are you? Now, I don't know what the difference is between the GTFC, B, or A. These ones, I believe, are A. Yeah. So, because it's first time and they're all the same cost, I'm going to get full 20. Perfect. Race tire, eh? Huh. Yeah, you know we're going to spice it up a little bit. We're going to go slick. Why? Because I can. <laughs> now, what size was it? 285, 30, 20. And the fronts were two, 265, 30, 20s. Fast, 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 fast. 285, 30, 20. Perfect. We'll go two. Because it's supposed to be a race car, right? So. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's run over here. Let's get actually we gotta go paint the wheels first. If they're even paintable, I don't know. But we shall find out. Even if parts aren't paintable, they still bring them in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Actually, that blue would probably look nice on there, wouldn't it? Huh, my chrome ain't really looking all chromey. What about doing them white? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Always decisions. But I think for this time around, we're gonna go blue. Color match it to the body. Who knows? Maybe I might do the car gold. You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows until the car goes in the paint booth, right? struts, the wheels, and then once those are done then we're going to go build the motor and we're going to separate the panels or the, uh, we're going to go 265 first. Oh yeah, those look real nice actually. What the? 
Okay, those are done. All right, guys, you all want to give me a minute here? I gotta go um, put the old shop dog to bed there. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, folks. But I just got a new pooch on, uh, on January 3rd, so I'm trying to teach him, make sure, you know, because we got him from the rescue, so. Well, from the local uh, humane society. I don't know why people have dogs if they can't take care of them. It boggles my mind, it really does. But unfortunately, we I treat our dog and the wife treats our dog like it's fat, well, like it's one of the kids, so it's not unfortunate, it just takes an extra bit longer to train them properly is what I mean. When you start treating them like that. It probably didn't come out the way I meant it, to be honest. Alright, anyway, now we're going to go build a motor. I-55. Right there. Shiny blue. Hey, we had another dog, but he passed away on uh, September 29th. He's eight years old. He's a mastiff. Got bloat. What that means and what that is is where, well, for him it was severe. Both, both ends of his stomach twisted well his stomach twisted over and created an air pocket and in the in the city where I live we had been calling veterinarian offices all day not one vet would open their door because we weren't a client of any of them luckily two hours away after driving down the highway we finally found a vet that would take us well, we weren't driving yet. We were on the phone trying to find one. And there was a vet two hours away from where we live. Actually, technically, it's supposed to be four hours. But, you know, the pets in trouble, family members in trouble. Forget the speed limits, you know what I mean? And we hauled butt all the way down to where we had to go. And just as the vet was about to take the dog out of the truck, the dog passed away. That was heart-wrenching very very heart-wrenching yeah. I haven't really been the same since he passed what? I thought I bought an alternator oh I was looking for power steering pump which I haven't been able to find yet for this car. Alright, time to flip it back over. Time to do the top side of the motor. Well, that's a different combination, I'll tell you that right now. Excuse me. 
Oh wow, I caught the coils in right off the hop. Sweet. Now I don't know if I got all the engine parts. I'm just guessing I did. Because it seems that all the parts are labeled I6 S55. I can tell by what the head number is. So I'm hoping I got them all. Alright, camshaft one, camshaft two. Now I put the cam caps in. Huh. <laughs> that's that's definitely a different combination, I'll tell you that right now. I'm not sure if I like it or not. They could probably grow on me, but it's different, that's for sure. Probably would have been better if I did it red instead of blue, but I like BMWs when they're blue. I really do. They're a sharp looking car to, to begin with, but you paint, you do the, you get a blue BMW and whoo, those are fancy. some caps that's why I have extra hold on there some boy but uh oh uh oh there we go fix it and the wife was extremely heartbroken after the dog passed because that was literally like another child to her because that dog followed her everywhere. He was glued to her hip at all times. What the? Wow. Tiny shoe C. Can't say I've ever heard of that one before. Like I said, we're probably going to be forgetting parts because <laughs> I've never, I've absolutely never done one of these motors before. I know it's no excuse, but you know, you miss stuff when you're trying to quickly run through it and you miss this, you miss that, and huh, there it is right there. That's why I didn't see it. Alright, head cover goes on. What? Oh, fuel rail. I got it, I got it. I'm throwing the turbo. Twin turb ski on six cylinder. Holy smokes, this should be fun to program. Shiny. Alright, put my green oil filter on. There's an. Aww, if I would have known I was going to do that, I would have painted it blue. I mean, same color blue, three different colors. I think it was actually options in the paint. Huh. That looks alright actually. Come on to think about it. And then we got the blue cover that goes over top of it all. Oh yeah. I can work with that. I can live with that. Doesn't look as bad as what I thought it was going to. But that inner cooler though, I may be taking that off and running it back to the paint shop or buying another one, painting it and seeing. I'm not really a fan of non-painted objects. But for time's sake, because like I said, I only have an, I, it takes me an hour, or I only have an hour to do a video. So I'm limited on what I can and cannot do in that hour, so. All right, I think the motor's done. Perfect. Well, we're gonna be dinged an extra 200 bucks because I'm not draining the fluid out this time. Ooh, that actually looks sharp. To be honest, I can get used to that. Alright. Now we can start the back corner, work our way all the way around. Really? I have what, 40 something thousand miles on it and it's already got rusty parts? 
curious to know where some of these cars are. I'm almost guaranteed that the BMW Pro car over there is not driven, wasn't a daily driver. And I'm just curious to know where they were driving it to make it look like that. Very, very curious. It's about time to do the Junker series. What do I mean by Junker series? I mean finding a car in the junkyard that's as complete as I can make it or find it. And once I do that, then I keep all the body parts the way they are. I don't fix nothing on the body and all the parts I find I have to get from the junkyard. It's a little challenge I've done a couple times. It's taken me a while too, it's taken me over a week to build them. Just because it's, you know, sometimes you get the parts, sometimes you don't. I find here it's when you're not looking for the parts, you find it. But when you're looking for them, have fun. Like I've spent over a week looking for a bumper for the uh, Impala in this game. Like, it's just ridiculous. Get rid of this. I take this off, I should be able to take the cross number out. Yep, bye bye. I got the middle muffler, I've already bought all this, I just gotta put it on. Ah, nothing like a Tim Hortons coffee, I tell ya. You have to excuse the jumping around here of it, like moving not me technically moving it when it starts going sideways it's actually my controller starting to screw up due to the previous animal that I was discussing uh, this controller that I'm using has hit the ground quite a few times well that's good eh? I mean, I'm already able to take the cross number out look at that eh fancy Oop, better go up here this is this is easy. Huh. Now, is it attached? Oh no, I got one attached on the other side. Go figure. No, no, there's a starter right there. Why can't I do it right here? Look at it. It's right in the open, right here. No, gotta be stubborn. If I get 800 horsepower out of this car, I'll be quite impressed. Quite impressed. Bye bye. All right. Take out the rear or the front shock. Ah, yeah, you're smart. I move this stuff, jackass. We don't need these on. Alright, now I need to run over here. Grab this. And what this is, is it's actually a 2016 BMW. Twenty sixteen BMW M four GTS special edition. I'm not entirely sure what's special about it, but something's something special. Did I put my welder on this thing? No I did not. Son of a Where'd 
fourteen hundred. That's not bad. Bye bye scratches. All right, now we're gonna put this back. Now we're gonna pull Zimota. Get everything done under here that I need to do. And like I said, fifty dollars. Yep. I can move the. I can remove the motor. Right. I can remove the motor. I don't get charged nothing for it, which in theory, all these pieces should have already come out. Like, all the fluid should have already been drained the second I pulled the motor out. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, there's no brake calipers. How's our fluid still in there? It boogles my mind. Oh, there's a Grand Theft Auto song again. There we go, there's another fatty. Yeah. Oh, good grief. left in here yeah ECU oh you gotta be kidding me well I guess the fuse box isn't getting colored painted the wrong one herps all right is that it yes it is cool the heck is that? Fire extinguisher? Huh. Okay. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her back up in the air. And we is going to start assembling things. We're gonna put the battery in. Fuel tank. It's already colored. Gotta have a racing fuel pump, you know what I mean? Shiny, 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 shiny. Now, I wonder if they're gonna let me... Huh. Well, I can put one in for now, anyway. I wonder if they're gonna let me keep those in. I'm going to put the motor in. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. About two of them. Hmm. Okay, good. I did do That's a different combination. I'm still getting used to it, that's for sure. In the front bushing. I'll go up here, do the upper arm. I guess it doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty sure there could be worse combinations out there. The, these blue, these gold ish. All right, see, wheel hub is the plain one for the rear. And you'll see right here what I'm talking about with the axles right here. See how it's rear drive axle. Now, if the motor was back here, it'd be rear drive axle B. If it was a Nissan, it would have its own carbon, carbon fiber brakes because, well, race car, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, right there, 285. Oh, that looks sharp. Might be too much blue, but eh. Whatever. the back, work our way forward. Oh, 
Oh, good grief. Get back over there. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Periodically. Whoa, hey there. Hey there, Bessie. Slow down. Put the upper arm in. Well, first suspension arm B. Put the small wobble bushing. Put the, just the regular suspension arm in for the rear. It requires a larger rubber bushing. And see, because the car has disc brakes on the rear, and it's rear-wheel rear drive with the engine in the front, it's wheel hub three. Now, if it had disc brakes or drum brakes, it would have wheel hub four. If it had the engine in the rear of the car, it would just be uh, wheel hub. Alright, that's 285. Beautiful. Now we go to the front cross member. Install it. Alright, now I can put this one in. Swing around so we can get to the other bushing on the other side. The inner tie rods in. So this one right here, for some reason, it takes the front sway bar B. With most of the other cars that are have this style front end, they're all just regular sway bar. Well, front sway bar, but there's no B. Swing this all the way around, like so. All right, now install steering knuckle B. The end link, lower control arm, I don't know, put the outer tie rod on there, perfect, well almost. Caliper. Booty boogie boogie, let's go racing. Alright, now we're on to this side. But we're gonna attempt to anyway. Seems like it has different a different agenda. Now I know I, ha I do have the B fuse box. All right, now we do the knuckle, the hub, slide all the way over to the motor. See, like right now, I'm not touching nothing. It's doing it all on its own. That gets frustrating. Let me tell you that much. The worst is when it starts happening and I'm, and I'm working on the OHV motors with the, with the push rods oh my god a simple 10-15 minute build turns into almost an hour alright ooh that actually looks pretty good alright now we're going to load everything up under here Put everything in. Yeah, like I said, I already had one. Gotta put the race race computer in. Or race ECU. Actually my goal is to get it up to a thousand horsepower, but it won't It'll probably be nine hundred. Seems to be typical. And the 
fuse and the air box on this thing is type A, which you know we've already done a little bit of color coordinating for it. Put in the race filter. All right, now I need to get around this way and put the clip B's in place. Where are the, oh. You say, where did I get all those extra clip bees from? Yeah, jackass, they came off the car when you did it. I feel smart. SMRT. I mean, SMRT. Alright, now this is a fan housing B with the dual fans. Reservoir D, which I already bought. The washer fluid jug. And I think we are now ready for the motor. Alright. Once we get the motor. Oh, ow. Kind of hurt my knee on that one. Oh, huh, I've already flipped it over. Cool. <laughs> Sorry about that. M motor in. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm curious to know what it's worth right now. 145,000. Good chunk of coin, that's for sure. Alright, now we're on the fluid fill up process. Sorry about that. No. Every time I turn my mic on or off, it makes a kind of a crackle sound. And I normally do that if I got a cough or sneeze or blow my nose or something like that. But then nobody else has to listen to it or if I take a drink. Well, I just had a, not a big drink, but a little sip from my Tim Hortons coffee. Alright, power steering fluid, brake fluid, and then the motor is done. Then we can put the transmission in. Drive shaft, starter, and bring it over to the paint and body shop. I guess that does look alright. The gold really breaks it up, that's for sure. Huh. It does actually look kind of good. It's different. I'm not used to doing these color combinations. Well, this one specifically, anyway. Hey man, I wonder if I can get it started right now, man. The last video, I think I did that. Was the last video I tried to start it? I tried to start the car with no transmission or nothing in it. Whoopsie, is what I said to that one. Ooh, that's no good. We need the drift shaft. All eight bolts. Perfect. Oh my god. Hundred, hundred, interior sixty-two, whatever. It'll work for the moment. If I get it over to the paint shop. Alright, let's see what kind of interior we're supposed to have in this thing. Let's see, it's BMW GTS, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can find one in here. Well, I guess it would help if I actually looked in the bucket section. Yeah, right there, M4 GTS. Perfect, look at that. Now, uh, kind of a steering wheel we're going to have for it. Almost guaranteed it's going to be something special labeled GTS or not. Huh. Yep, yeah, there it is. With paddle shifters. Ooh, fancy. Oh, I didn't want that one. There we go.
All right, now we install the body panels. Oi, oh, I didn't buy any yet. Son of a gun. Huh. Hmm. I'm leaving off because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them gold. I think I might do the hood too. I'm just not sure how it would look. off I said right did I not say that sometimes I forget some of the stuff I say see that's what I mean look at wheels different colored whoa that's shiny 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 see what I mean wheels are completely different color than what the body is Alright, we gotta align it anyway, so we'll bring it over here and we'll let the paint cure for a minute before we run back over in here and paint the mirrors gold. Way too far, didn't need to go that far. Actually, that looks alright. Should have did the car block. Slide this over just a bit. Perfect. Green check mark. Good to go. I drop this down. Slide it over just a bit. Drop it down. Drop it down. Drop it down. Drop it down. Green check mark. Good to go. All right. Let's do a dyno pull, and that should be the end of it. Hopefully, I have everything. Yep. All right. Let's see what she does. Eight hundred and eighty one horsepower and seven hundred and sixty five foot pounds of torque. That's not a whole heck of a lot considering it's twin turbo. But that concludes our video for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching and also to please like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost nothing to subscribe, it doesn't cost nothing to share. And it, it really would help my channel grow. Thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.